Welcome in on this dreary Friday. Anna Baining joined alongside Mick Hatton from the rink live. Mick, it's been a couple weeks since we last talked. First things first, I want to touch on some of the new players that are going to be added to the Huskies roster in the 2023-24 season, plus three of the seniors who are returning to the ice for their fifth years. Zach Okabe, Kyler Kupka, and Dylan Anhorn, you know, elite goal scorers and difference makers on the ice. Are there any more attributes to describe these guys? <laughs> Well, I, I mean, I think the, the big one that people had a lot of questions about was Dylan Anhorn uh, because he was having such a great season uh, for St. Cloud State and he unfortunately he got injured. Uh, so there were some question marks there. I, I mean, it sounded like, I mean, if, if he had finished the season, uh, particularly with playing as well as he was going to, he was going to be turning pro. But, uh, you know, the injury obviously uh, played a, a, a big role in, in his season ending, obviously. And then on top of that, uh, it, it played into his decision to come back here for a fifth season. And it's, that's huge news for St. Cloud State. He's a guy that, uh, you know, can control tempo, and uh, there aren't many players out there that are like that. Uh, you know, Kyler Kupka had a, had a really good season, uh, particularly when you consider the fact that, uh, you know, he had to sit out basically about a month because he had that appendectomy. But, uh, you know, he had a huge jump in his production over the past season. Plays on the power play, plays on the penalty kill. Uh, so th there you go, two special teams guys. I mean, anytime you're talking about you know key things for teams, uh, when you get special teams guys back like that, uh, that's big. And Zach Okabe's a, a power play guy that, you know, they're losing a lot of scoring. I mean, with Grant Cruikshank leaving, uh, or, you know, finishing up his eligibility and, and, and moving on. And then uh, I'm blank, uh, Yami Kranala, you know, obviously, I mean, led the team in scoring uh, last season. Both those guys are, are going to be gone. So to get Okabe back, uh, you know, who had 18 goals this past season, that's a that's a big, big get for St. Cloud State to keep those, those three guys around. Uh, you know, on, on the other side, you know, you're talking about, uh, the players that, they, that they're bringing in. Carl Falk is a, a defenseman from the University of Alaska, uh, a guy that took a big step up this past season up there. Uh, wanted to, you know, try something a, a little bit different, uh, you know, to come down here. He's he's probably more in the mold of, you know, uh, you know, a Brendan Bushy kind of guy. You know, he's going to play defense kind of first. He's not going to be real flashy out there. He's a big body. He's about six foot three and a guy who can skate, so that, that's a good addition. And then Nick Ports from uh, the University of North Dakota is a forward, plays wing. Uh, you know, that, again, with so many guys kind of leaving, uh, you know, this past off season, and so many holes to fill. And Nick Ports is a guy that uh, he's from St. Cloud, so, and he has a ton of uh, family that uh, have, have gone to St. Cloud State and been, had big roles here at, at the university. So it's kind of a cool story to see Nick Ports coming back. For sure. And sticking within the NCHC, are there any more player surprises in this postseason? Um, you know, I, I, I don't know if there's been a, a ton of surprises. I mean, I think Dylan Anhorn actually might be one of the, might Huge. be the biggest surprise, I, I think, out, out of all of them. You know, I, I think one of the big surprises in the NCHC is, is when you're looking at the University of North Dakota, and you look at, at, at their roster and how that's kind of been going here uh, in, in the off season. They don't have any of their defensemen back no. uh, for this coming season, and both of their top two goaltenders are, are gone. Uh, so they're going to have a much different look to them uh, th this, this coming season. Isaac Howard from uh, University of Minnesota Duluth uh, decided to transfer. Uh, he's, he's headed to Michigan State. Uh, that's kind of a big, you know, that's big news up, at, up in Duluth because uh, he's a first round draft pick and, and those guys don't come along very often. Players staying, players going, coaches staying, and coaches moving on to different programs. Former Minnesota State Mankato head coach Mike Hastings, he's now Wisconsin Badger. Well, thoughts on that? Uh, you know, I mean, I think it's a, a big move for, for Mike, obviously, uh, who actually coached here and played at St. Cloud State. Uh, you know, when, when you look at, you know, if you, if you dig into the, the contract numbers, it's a big jump in pay for him. And Wisconsin's one of the, the premier programs in, in the country. Uh, Mike's, Mike's name has been bannered about an awful lot for the last few seasons because of all the success he's had at Minnesota State. And, uh, you know, didn't end up going to you know Boston University or Boston College or Michigan State. I think part of the deal 
uh, with Mike going is because he's a Minnesota guy. He's from here. Uh, Wisconsin, not that far away from home. So, I mean, I think he can stay a little bit closer to his family and, and everything else with that. But, yeah, it's a, it's a huge move. And then, you know, they've had uh, a lot of uh, the players that were supposed to be returning to Minnesota State are kind of seem to be following him yeah. over to Wisconsin. Uh, and on top of that is his assistant coach Todd Cannot uh, has also uh, moved over to, to Wisconsin. So that's a, that's a huge move and it's going to be interesting to see what happens at Minnesota State. They've named a new head coach in Luke Strand and uh, there's, he's going to have a lot of work to do here in the offseason because there, there are a number of, his, of the players that were at Minnesota State that are, have gone into the transfer portal besides the guys that have ended up at Wisconsin. Well, thanks so much, Mick. More updates to come in this postseason for men's college hockey. You can find more of Mick Hatton on TheRinkLive.com. Keep following me for more updates.